other news tonight, the new governor's first full day in office, and he says that he's looking for ideas to save money from state employees. Yeah, he also let everyone know that he wants to be known as Daniel and not Dan. Yeah, Chief Political Correspondent Mark Davis joins us live from our Hartford Newsroom with more from the governor's first formal news conference today. Mark? Yeah, and you know we're all going to slip at some point because we've been calling him Mayor Dan Malloy for so many years. But anyway, we're going to work on it. Uh, good evening, Sonia and Darren. Good evening, everyone from the Hartford Newsroom. In keeping with his promise of transparency, Governor Daniel Malloy today took questions on any subject less than 24 hours after he was sworn in. On his first full day in office, Malloy made it clear that he no longer wants to be called Dan, preferring the full name given him by his mother. My cards say Daniel. I, I insisted uh, uh, that we go back to my, uh, my formal name as opposed to Dan. And Malloy revealed that he and his wife Kathy were at last night's inaugural ball till about midnight to accommodate people who wanted pictures. He also revealed today that one of his very first acts as governor was to send an email yesterday to all state employees asking for help in saving money. I'm looking um, uh, for greater efficiencies so that we can accommodate, um, um, uh, so, so that we can find a way to live within our means. But when I asked about the expense of a new gold embossed leather chair for his office, he sloughed it off. Well, I need a chair. Um, and, 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 and I noticed it was the only chair that, that uh, was here behind the desk. And, you know, listen, I, 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 uh, uh, it's a chair. I need a chair. He also said that reports of late hires to state civil service jobs by members of the REL administration will be fully reviewed before their probationary period ends. No one should be kept on simply because the calendar, uh, because they ran the clock. And he said something that should be music to the ears of big city mayors that he favors giving them the authority to impose their own taxes. I believe there should be more local options. I have previously, for instance, testified on behalf of, uh, for instance, a hotel tax is one possibility as a local option, or an entertainment tax. Malloy well, also said that even though he does favor repeal of the state's death penalty, that he is not going to be, quote, expending leadership, close quote, on the issue, but that's up to the legislature. Live from the Hartford Newsroom, Mark Davis, News 8.